need a pair of light to medium dumbbells. Now, if you're just starting out, you can even use body weight. If you're just coming back, you need to jump start. Start with kind of a medium weight. You can always increase or decrease as we go. So for each exercise, we are going to do a lifting exercise and a short cardio exercise in between so that you can catch your breath and get some oxygen back into those muscles. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of break. We'll go on to the next move. We're gonna repeat this workout two times. All right, so let's just do a quick warm up. We're just gonna step touch side to side. Reach and pull, start warming up those muscles. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each warm up move as well. Back and forth. Anytime during this workout you need to get a drink, you need to take a break, do it and come back whenever you're ready. All right, three seconds. We're gonna take this to a side lunge, side to side. Get as low as you can. As you warm up, you can get a little bit lower. Side to side. All right, 10 more seconds here. Should be getting a little bit warm. Muscles should be feeling a little looser. Five seconds. Three. All right, last one. Bring it up. We're going to come into a squat up to our toes. You don't have to go fast. Remember, we're just warming up. Each rep, you should be able to go a little bit lower. All right, in 10 seconds, I'm gonna give you about a 10 second break, and we're gonna go to our first move. Three, give me one more. All right, big arm circles, and are we ready to go? We're gonna pick up those dumbbells. We're gonna do a dumbbell shoulder press for 30 seconds. Don't start yet. So what you're gonna do, field goal position. I don't want your elbows down here, I want them up here. Feet can be side by side, or you can have one push back. Push up and down. When you push overhead, you should see those dumbbells at the top. If you don't see them, I want you to bring your arms forward. If at any time this gets too heavy, simply rotate. You see how my elbows are not dropping way down here? We're keeping them here and we're moving them up. All right, we have three seconds and break. Put those dumbbells down, out of the way. We're gonna go to a march in place. You get a 30 second rest, so take that rest. Active recovery that we want you to keep moving. All right, you're halfway through that break. Just move, get out, whatever you need to do. All right, we're gonna march in three, Two. All right, 30 seconds of just marching. So you're gonna march in place for that 30 seconds. Okay, as it gets easier, you can get those knees a little higher. Your next progression after that is to take it to a jog. Okay, I want you to do whatever you're comfortable doing. 10 more seconds here, and then you get your break again. And recover. Again, get a drink if you need it. Active recovery. You can do little grapevines if you want. Just keep your heart rate going. All right, 15 more seconds. I'm gonna show you your next move. We're gonna take those dumbbells, picking them back up. You're gonna do an upright row. Your palms face your legs. You're gonna lead with your elbows. You're gonna come right above your chest and push down, okay? All right, let's go, 30 seconds. Up and down. You wanna work both ways. So you see how I'm working on the way up, I'm not just dropping it. So you wanna come up, push it down. Up and push it down, I'll show you from the side. Okay, keep bringing it up. If you get tired, same thing. You can alternate. In two seconds, you are done, put it down. From here, you're gonna do a knee repeater with your right leg. 
So you're gonna kick that leg back and you're just gonna repeat. If you don't wanna bring your knee up, just tap it in. I'm gonna show you both options. We're only sticking with the right leg for 30 seconds. We'll add the left next round. 10 seconds, keep moving. Five, three. All right, stick that right leg back and tap it in. Use those arms, go at your own pace. If you wanna take it to the next level, bring it to a knee. It's whatever you wanna do. Keep it low. And you can go faster with each of them. Five seconds. Three. And take a break. Shake it out. Now we're gonna to go to a lateral raise. You guys are on your right. I'm just gonna preview for you. When you do a lateral raise, palms face each other. Elbows are at your side. Again, you're gonna lift with those elbows. And you're gonna turn out. You're gonna cover your shoulder height and work it back down, okay? Go ahead, pick up those dumbbells. You have five seconds. Lateral raises. Pick them up, palms face each other, and lateral raise. I'm gonna show you from this side. You're coming up and down, okay? Again, don't rock. Nice controlled movement. And if you get tired, alternate side to side. Two more seconds. All right, put those down. We're gonna move to that left leg knee repeater. So you're gonna put it back, we're gonna tap it out, or you can do a knee. Again, I'll show you both options. 20 seconds. 15, active recovery. This is when you should be getting a drink. If you're thirsty, get a drink in between those. All right, in five seconds, plant that right leg, stick that left leg back, use those arms, tap it in. If you want, take it to a knee. Runner's arms. The faster your arms go, the faster your legs go. Again, you can tap, but stay low if you're tapping. Your planted leg, that's the one where you're gonna feel it the most. 10 more seconds here. Keep pushing. Three, and recover. Awesome job. How are we feeling? You guys are doing amazing. From here, we're gonna go to a frontal raise, okay? You're gonna take your dumbbells. They're gonna face your legs. So your palms are facing your legs. You're gonna come up and down, okay? So you're up here. So you see I am shorter height, back down. Again, you're not rocking. Five seconds, we're gonna pick them up. Three, two, frontal raise. Up and down. From the side, up and down. See how we're not rocking. Nice controlled movements. This exercise, you may get tired quicker. So if you need to, alternate your arms at any time. Your last 10 seconds. Five, two, and recover. Put them down. All right, we're gonna go to a skater. When you do a skater, we're just going to tap and pull it in. So use those arms, you're kind of reaching and pulling, but you're staying low in your legs, okay? If you have knee, back issues, stay standing up and just do a step touch, okay? Five seconds and I'll show you a more advanced movement that you can advance to when you're ready to. All right, ready? Let's go. Back and forth, get some distance. Go as fast as you want. Remember, you can just be tapping side to side. And if you want to take it up, skate. Throw your arms and skate in that direction. Okay, that's an advanced movement. 10 seconds. Remember, stay low. So you're getting a little bit, but your back is not hunched. Two seconds and recover. Get a drink. From here. Last shoulder exercise. 
we're gonna do side raises. This time your palms are gonna face your outer thighs. You're gonna raise to the side, shoulder height, and down. So you're up and down, okay? 10 more seconds. You guys are killing it. Awesome job. Five, three, plant your feet, and let's go. When you plant your feet, don't lock your knees. Soft knees when you lift, okay? Up and to the side if you need to. Alternate each direction. You are halfway there. We have one more cardio move. Now you guys are experts on how to lift shoulders. Five, three, two, and break. Bring it down. From here, we're gonna do jumping jacks. You can do any variation of jack you want. We're gonna do 30 seconds. You can simply tap to the sides. You can do a regular jumping jack. If you wanna take it a little bit more advanced, straight arm jack. And then the super last modification will be a power jack. Touch, jack, touch, jack, okay? Whatever you want, ready? And let's go. I'm gonna show you guys all options. So we can tap, we can do regular jumping jacks. We can go to a straight arm jack. Or take it down, power jack. Touch in, okay? Any option that you want. Take your break, 30 seconds. That is round one. We have one more round to go. Who's still with me? Everyone? Good, all right, get a drink. I'm gonna grab one as well. Always stay hydrated. All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna pick those dumbbells back up. We're going back to that shoulder press. That's where we're here, overhead. Ready? Let's go. Remember, you should see those dumbbells at the top. When you push to the top, soft elbows. Never want to lock them. And when you come down, make a field goal with those arms. You are halfway. Keep pushing. Kick that leg back if you want to keep your back from arching. And one more. Take that 30 second break. Put those dumbbells down. We're gonna go to march or jog in place. Always get this 30 second break. As you go, if you find that 30 second break is a little bit too long and you wanna shorten it, by all means, do 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of your break, okay? Eventually, you can take the break out completely and just alternate through the exercises. All right, three seconds, we're gonna march. So I'm gonna march for half, and I'm gonna take it up and jog with you for half. All right, let's go. Remember, it's only 30 seconds, so push yourself a little bit outside of that comfort zone. All right, 15 seconds. If you want, pick it up, let's jog. If you go to the jog option, remember, you can always go back down to marching. Five seconds, three, two, and recover. Good job. All right, we're gonna go back to those upright rows. Palms face your legs, lead with your elbows, up to your chest, press it down, work both directions. Shoulders don't any, a little bit sore, a little bit tired. Favorite motto, tell yourself you're not tired. You can always go more. All right, pick up those dumbbells. We have five seconds, three, Point your feet side to side if you want, but bend those knees a little bit. Upright row, up and down. No rocking, control the movement in each direction. And remember, you still have the option to alternate side to side. You are halfway there. Keep pushing, keep smiling, and keep breathing. Five seconds, three, Two. All right, take that break. We're gonna go to your toe taps. 
So your right leg's gonna come back. I'm gonna toe tap for 15 seconds, I'm gonna bring it to a knee for the last 15. Maybe for the last couple of seconds, I'll show you another little bit of an advanced movement in case you're ready for that third step. All right, 10 more seconds of your break. Let's go ahead and let's kick that right foot back. You're just on your toe, so don't plant that foot. Use those arms, runner's arms. Ready, let's go. So just tap it in, fast as you can. Remember, you wanna feel a little bit uncomfortable. Push yourself a little bit harder. You can stay here, or you can bring it up to a knee. Fast as you can. All right, your other option is to come up, tap, and jump would be your final modification. Take your break, 30 seconds from here. Back to our lateral raises. Palms face the insides of your thighs, and you're gonna push up to shoulder height. Back down, 15 seconds. Then we'll do that left leg. Still feeling good out there? You're looking good too. All right, pick up those dumbbells. Five seconds. Hands together, let's go. It's almost like you're flying away. All right, pick it up. Nice and controlled movements. You don't have to go fast on these. So if you're at a five pound weight today, maybe in a couple weeks, bump it up to a seven. Every couple weeks, reevaluate, see where you are, go a little bit heavier. That's with all of the workouts we provided you. And one more, take that break. 30 seconds, then we're gonna go to that left leg, okay? You're almost there. Couple more and you are finished with your shorter workout. 20 more seconds. You can always do these exercises for longer too if you're looking for a longer workout or add another round. So we're gonna do two rounds. If eventually you get to a point where it's not too bad, add another round. Take that left foot back, same thing. I'm gonna tap for half of it with you guys. Runner's arms. Good job, keep tapping. All right, take it to a knee if you want. And you're always gonna feel like one side is stronger than the other or more balanced, that's normal. Or you can take it from here, tap, come up on that knee. Take your 30 second break. All right guys, back to front raises. If you need to, your shoulders are screaming at you at this point, they're feeling a little tired, it is okay to alternate, okay? You are halfway through that break. We're gonna go to those frontal raises, and then we're gonna skate. All right, let's pick them up. Five seconds. Three, two, plant those feet, soft knees, and raise and lower. So it's almost two count up, two count down. So one, two, one, two, should be your tempo, okay? And by all means, if you need to, alternate, okay? 10 seconds, form is the most important. Give me five more seconds, three, and last one, take your break. Anytime that you're doing this though, just make sure you move your dumbbells out of the way when you're doing cardio so you don't trip over those dumbbells. All right, we're gonna go to our skaters. Three final exercises, and then we will cool down and stretch. 15 seconds. Skaters, I'm gonna stay low, take it a little higher, and then I'll show you a little bit more of an advanced option for when you're ready. Five seconds. We're gonna move. Three, two, all right. So we're just gonna tap side to side, get some distance, stay low. If you have a ponytail, make it swing, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, if you have a ponytail, I wanna see it swinging. All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna pick it up a little bit so you can skate like you're on the ice. And if you wanna pick it up, really go. Get some distance and push your leg behind. Take your 30 second break. 
Last shoulder exercise, side raises. Remember, you can alternate. Should feel a little winded after doing those skaters. 15 seconds. Woo, how are you feeling? Feeling this workout, I hope. Let's pick up those dumbbells. Last 30 seconds. Make these your absolute best. Plant those feet side by side, soft knees, raise. Same thing here. Up two, down two. Soft elbows, they're not locked. Good. If you need to, it is okay to alternate. If you're alternating though, I don't wanna see this. I still want your back nice and straight, core tight, and push. Two more seconds, so give me one more. Put them down, awesome job. All right, let's end. 30 seconds jumping jacks. We're gonna do all options, and I'm even gonna show you one more option besides the power jack. I'm gonna show you an air jack just one time in case you ever feel like giving it a shot. All right, in 10 seconds, we're gonna start with those jacks. Show you all options. Five, all out this time. It's your last one. Give me your final 30 seconds. Don't hold back. Let's go. So jumping jacks here, jumping jacks here, or take it to a straight arm jack. Fast as you can. Or take it down, power jack. You can make your feet go faster. Come on, 10 seconds, push it for me. Five seconds, or you can take it to air jacks. Okay, whatever you wanna do, recover. 30 seconds and then we'll pull down. Get your drink, keep moving your feet. How do you feel? On a scale of one to 10, could you go faster? Could you go heavier? Always ask yourself that. Every single one of these exercises, you might have a different weight for. You might be able to go heavier on shoulder presses and lighter on your frontal raises. It's completely normal and that's fine. Just have some dumbbells out in front of you, experiment with them, see what works best for you. All right, we did a lot of arm work today. Let's take those arms, leg side with the arms, inhale up, push it to the ceiling. And let's bring it over. Try to bring it down as low as you can. Try to touch those toes. From here, just tip, bring it to center. If you can reach that floor, awesome. And over to the other side. Heart rate should slowly be coming down. All right, let's bring it up. Take these arms, bring it across. You should always hold the meaty part of your arm, never your elbow, never your shoulder joint. Just hold that, give it a good stretch. Take that arm up and over. Again, meaty part of your arm, don't push from your elbow. Awesome, relax. Other arm, bring it across, hold again. Up and over, give it a good stretch. Awesome, one final stretch, take those arms. Cross them out in front of you. Tuck your head under. And stretch. Take those arms, push them back, open up. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Hope you thought the class was fun. Take those arms, roll them back, and I'll see you next time. Thank you guys.